Good morning from a snowy Texas. It, it snowed just to show you it did snow. Check out the snow. By the way, we're over at a uh, sheet metal place because today, God, what an annoying car. Um, today we're gonna cover up these things. Initially, I was gonna go with one giant plate to go over it, kind of, but uh, the guy Jake here at the metal place is gonna make one with the same holes. Uh, that way I can just bolt it in and go. Put a little adhesive in there, bam. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the whole thing and rewrap the top part. It'll say, you know, something like YouTube, Jack Sauce, and that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's go inside and see how they're gonna make it. All right, so by the way, uh, this is Jake. Hi. Uh, Jake just helped me out. We figured it all out. He's he's a smart guy. If, if you're gonna do metal stuff, you should come to a metal shop and not try and do it yourself. Talk to an expert. But what do you, what do we have in the fridge? Uh, we have some kielbasa, jalapeno, and cheese. Smoky Denmark's before they stop doing game. <laughs> and this this is tur uh, uh, deer. Deer sausage. Deer sausage. And then some fish that was caught in oh. Port Aransas. All right. So you can pick some of that before sure. it gets freezer we'll, burned. Uh, sure. Whatever you want to give me is fine. We'll, we'll eat it tonight. Does that sound good? Yeah, man. So, uh, a perk of uh, working with small businesses, we're talking about deers hunting, all kinds of stuff. He's like, hey, you want some uh, food? We got some. And it, it, like, I didn't know it was in the fridge, like right outside here in the workshop. By the way, this is the workshop. And that's Alice. <laughs> Dude, thanks so much, man. Here, give it a little pound. Not a problem. All right. I just got off the phone with a school bus parts company. Um, and I ordered this, uh, they call it a lamp, a uh, brake light lamp replacement. It's going to be the same exact thing here. Uh, and it actually has the name of the light right there, which oddly enough, I didn't even search for. Maybe I did in the past and it just didn't work out. But good news, it's going to be delivered here in a few days. So it looks like I'm going to be hanging out for a couple days. Um, we got some clear skies. I'm going to do the oil change. We've done one before on the channel. We're not gonna do another one together. Um, I'll check back in in a little bit. This is the aftermath, and unfortunately I did spill a few drops under the school bus. Sorry about that, Alice. Uh, the uh, oil filter kinda dropped out of my hands. It's, uh, it's a couple pounds when it's filled up with oil, so it is a little tricky and it kinda bounced out of the uh, oil pan I had underneath so uh, I think I'm gonna turn this into also tomorrow's video because um, I will be here for a few days today's Friday I'm gonna be here for a few days waiting for uh, well the, the thing I have to wait for is this it arrives on Tuesday I paid $15 to the part and $18 for shipping two-day shipping which over the weekend, um, ship a Friday, so Saturday and Sunday don't count, so Monday arrives Tuesday. Um, that way, it'll be nice and bright back here, I'll be totally legal, although this does work, it has been working, and uh, from my understanding, you just need two tail lights, but it is nice to have all of them working. Um, I think I'm gonna rip off these right now, make it look more like that, and then once I get the sheet metal from uh, Jake, uh, over at the sheet metal place. I'll just screw them back in and cover the holes and then eventually this will just say YouTube forward slash Jacks Austin. That way people can see me coming and going. Um, this whole thing is nice. I really do like the wrap. However, it is a bit busy and confusing. I often get asked what kind of food I serve in my food truck bus. Okay, next step, uh, I did this one just to kind of test it. I will show you exactly how to replace and cover up the school bus lights here. So like I said, um, or maybe I didn't, uh, I went and I had um, eight custom pieces of aluminum made at a metal shop. I, I very simply gave them the uh, light caps, which these are square, but the exact same light caps that came off there, and they made little holes four holes to screw into. 
Um, cost me about 90 bucks for about eight of them. In my opinion, it's gonna be a pretty easy job. Um, all I'm doing is I'm using this here silicone. This is what it looks like when you remove the light. I'll be putting a silicone circle around there and then I'll just be screwing into the existing holes with the same diameter screw, just a little bit shorter. Those just take your um, screws into the hardware store like this. And I got myself brand new ones, just a little bit shorter. I dropped it there. So you see the difference? It's just like a quarter inch shorter. It should be pretty self-explanatory why you use silicone, but I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle of the black part going around the screw head. Well, you know what, you can put a little bit in there too if you want. It's really no big deal if a little bit of water comes in here. Uh, it's just to make it a little bit nicer, uh, flush, secure fit there. And uh, then we'll just screw uh, the plate on. I have one screw at the top, I'm just gonna find the hole. Sometimes it is kind of hard to find the hole. There we go. And then I'll put the other ones in and tighten those down. All right, this is what it looks like when you're finished. And there's not one way to skin a cat. You could do this many different ways, uh, probably cheaper as well, but this happened to be a way that me and the guy at the metal shop figured to do it. Um, I could have taken out the gaskets around there, but you know, this is, this, this is gonna be covered up. So this is the final product. All right, and that's what it looks like. Now, if you are worried about uh, water, you can put some silicone around the edges here for this particular application. As you can see, it is covered with a big vinyl uh, sticker wrap. And uh, the reason I'm, I took removed them and replaced them with these plates here, um, these caps, these covers, is because I'm gonna redo this back part of the bus uh, with a different graphic. This is gonna be like a big old YouTube thing, stuff like that. So hopefully this video helped you. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next upload.